known as La Doyenne, or the Old Lady. The riders have 258 kilometers to charm her. The victory must be earned, and the wild hills of Valonia must be tamed. Liège Baston Liège is easier said than done. Theatre of the last great expedition of the spring classics, she brings with her the traditional sequence of climbs, La Redoute, La Roche au Faucon, and San Nicolas. The opening of the race saw the usual breakaway of ambitious dreamers, hoping to convert an aggressive start in the fashion of Sylvain Dillier, who finished second in Paris-Roubaix in April. A group of nine riders charged ahead, hoping to stay the course, but this time the breakaway never got more than six minutes ahead. Following behind, the peloton bided its time under the drive of teams Movistar and UAE Emirates. The final climactic 40 kilometers began with the climb of La Redoute. Quickstep, team of one of the favourites, Julien Alaphilippe, chose the moment to make their move, closing down the survivors of the day's breakaway just as they began their ascent of La Roche au Faucon. Philippe Gilbert attacked in the first few hundred metres, a burst which sorted out his followers. Vincenzo Nabli, one of those not able to keep up. Up ahead, Bob Jungels was hard at work. The champion of Luxembourg moved on the offensive after the summit and took advantage of the wait and see of other favourites to go 20 seconds ahead, a lead which would grow in the final kilometres. Behind him, the honourable mentions were being contested. Jelle van Undert made a solo effort to mount the podium. Romain Bardet and Michael Woods also attacked in the last two kilometres. Up in front, the lead was ample for Bob Jungels, the most beautiful win of his career for this Luxembourgish all-rounder. The podium was completed by the last two attackers. Canadian Michael Woods came in second, while Frenchman Roman Bardet took third. Ideal finish for the Wolfpack. Team Quickstep had their winner today. A steamroller which breezed through the Ardennes with a perfect play on the old lady. Philippe Gilbert attacking in the Roche au Faucon. Bob Jungles attacking the descent and Julien Alaphilippe making his mark among the favourites. The Belgian team placed two riders in the top four. I was feeling really good all day long, but uh, yeah, I mean, after, after Wednesday for sure, we had Julien as a, as a clear leader, and uh, yeah, at some point I just, um, yeah, I tried to, tried to go on Rochelle Faucon and just to keep him in a good position and uh, yeah finally nobody nobody ever came back it's the first major victory of his career for Jungels who's been the best young rider in the Tour of Italy for the last two years following behind two finishes for the French Bardet in third and Alaphilippe in fourth the Italians had three riders in the top ten Pozzo Vivo, Gasparotto and Formolo. It's only the second edition of Liège Baston Liège for the women, but already there's only one name written in history, Anna van der Breggen. Attacked from every direction, the Dutch rider and Olympic champion has once again shown her very best to bring the race home alone, and crowns herself as Queen of the Classics, after wins in the Tour of Flanders and La Flèche Vallon as well. The peloton can now only look back on the palmares of this year's Grand Spring Classics. We leave you with the most beautiful images of Belgium from the sky. We're now heading for the staged races of the season, notably with Criterium du Dauphine, which takes place from the 3rd to the 10th of June.